to Ethiopia. Father, I've been telling you guys about the new prime minister that is 41 going to 42. The man has been doing a lot of good things since he became prime minister in Ethiopia, y'all. So recently he went to Egypt to meet with the president of Egypt so that he could assure him that the major dam that they are building in Ethiopia will not affect Egypt's source of water. You guys know that there has been some tension over that for some years now. So not only was he able to strengthen his alliance with Egypt, but remember he was also recently in Kenya. So now he has strengthened his alliance with Egypt and Kenya. The guy is smart. You get what I'm saying? But not only that, the guy negotiated the release of 32 Ethiopian prisoners while he was in Egypt. And these were Ethiopians that were jailed for minor offenses like trespassing and some of them for immigration. So he negotiated their release. And not only were they released, but they flew back to Ethiopia in the same plane as the Prime Minister. I'm like, yo, yo, for real, prisoners with the Prime Minister on the same plane in Africa for that. That is what I call leadership. Prime Minister Abiy requested Egypt to pardon Ethiopian citizens jailed for mostly entering the country illegally. The freed Ethiopians were all flown back to Addis Ababa on the Prime Minister's plane. For real though, how many African presidents or Prime Ministers would go abroad to negotiate the release of their citizens or even speak up when their citizens have been maltreated abroad? How, how many? I know that Nigerian presidents don't do that unless they start tomorrow. In less than 90 days, he has toured seven states in the region and the Middle East. The UAE and Egypt, Abi has managed to get several thousands of Ethiopian prisoners to be freed from jails of those countries. I'm very happy for Ethiopians because your prime minister just made a statement that your lives are valued. That's why he would do that. So I'm really jealous. I have been in an Egyptian prison for nine months. I was unfairly accused and jailed. This is a relief. None of us expected we would be freed. We thank our prime minister so much. Now on a side note, um, my people move closer, especially if you are Nigerian. Ethiopia is not playing. They are almost done with their mega dam. You know, the grand Ethiopian Renaissance dam that they said would provide additional electricity. Why don't you tell them, my brother? Just tell them. Expected to generate more than 6,000 megawatts of electric power. It will become Africa's largest hydropower facility. Ah, father. You see what I'm saying? That's like the electricity that the whole of Nigeria generates right now. And their population is not even as much as Nigeria. And can you believe how much they are spending on that dam? It's being self-financed by Ethiopia and will cost the Eastern Africa country about 7 billion US dollars. Fadza! You guys remember the $20 billion scandal in Nigeria? That money will build three of these dams and will still have change. In fact, Nigerian officials, they have robbed us. Ah, they have really robbed us. Imagine, imagine us having three of such dams in Nigeria today. And now they are planning on building railways to link Ethiopia with Egypt and Sudan and probably Kenya as well. And speaking of Kenya, Move closer. Kenya is also not playing. You guys know, right? I mean, I already showed you the railway system that they built, the train stations in Kenya that look nicer than our international airport. Ah, it's okay. I know you've seen it before, but you have to see it again, my people, because I, I it is my job to remind you. <laughs> the standard gauge railway, which covers the Mombasa Nairobi route in 472 kilometers, the first phase of the standard gauge railway has two major stations seven intermediate stations and 23 passing stations. I already told you that they have a plan to link the railway system with neighboring countries, including Uganda, Rwanda, and also Ethiopia. Shut up! And in case you're wondering why I keep showing you guys all these things, it is just to wake up the so-called giants, the giants of Africa. Ha! Nigeria, you're not too asleep. You are sleeping, Nigeria. Exactly what are we doing in Nigeria? You know, in the next five to ten years, all these countries will overtake you, Nigeria. You know, I'm very happy for Ethiopians and Kenyans, by the way. Please, don't think I'm an enemy of progress. No, I'm not. I'm just challenging Nigeria that so many African countries are actually moving forward. But again, you guys know I don't know much. Guess what? I'm just keeping it real.